Destiny 2's newest expansion of Circle Good Triangle Band starts with the giant moth mummy seventh. Th Wait, a uh, giant moth. <laughs> There's new lands to explore, a raid to complete, guns to farm, guns to make, gear to uh, acquire. A massive rework to the Void subclass and one absolute slapper of a campaign. The story follows Please Step On Me as she steals the light of the Traveler as that is a new and uh, original plot. And it's up to you the player to get it back, which seems like quite a big task for an old lady. Yeah, don't worry Zavala, you look Real busy there, mate! <laughs> the campaign can be played with up to three players, and over the years, this has been the worst part of Destiny. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, alright? <laughs> Playing through the story is such nothing easy mindless content that there's no relation to the end game experience. They're so different, calling it end game implies there was a game to begin with. But with Witch Queen Bungie pulled an epic gamer move and added a difficulty option. You know, like, um, uh, that, that, was, that, that one game we've all played, um, what was it called? Um,. Oh yeah, 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 every game ever. You can now play Legendary Difficulty right out of the gate, and damn, this difficulty ain't playing. Okay. Bruh. <laughs> oh no. We've got a new, uh... Never mind. Why am I back here? No, no more. Ah, we're all gonna die. He dodges the Nova Bomb? Oh my god. Enemies hit like trucks. I have to, uh, bear with me on this one, because this, this is a crazy concept, so I really hope you're sitting down with this one. Uh, use my abilities as they were intended. Previously, campaigns were so easy, you could just use your abilities to make things go faster. There was no need to use the Titan's defensive barrier to defend yourself. You were more likely to die from fall damage than uh, Nameless Goon. No one saw that. But with the legendary campaign, I had to use weapons to match shield types, save my heavy ammo for big enemies, time my ultimates with my teammates, especially that one, as the difficulty scales with more players, and boy, does it really scale. So doing all these things makes the campaign relative to the end game. It's not just walking through weak, mindless goons, then playing a different game once you beat the campaign. And beating the campaign on legendary nets you gear that will put you at the level needed to go straight into end game content. So again, there's no separation between the two. But YOLO! Legendary sounds a bit scary. If you're not after the increase in difficulty, that's fine. Normal caters for that. But for years, anyone who finds that too easy can just suck their own farts. With the increase in difficulty, better gear drops, and addition of specialized enemies, there's no separation between the campaign and the rest of the game, making this the best campaign experience Destiny 2 has ever had. Who's coming? Everyone. <laughs> Have a plan, make everyone come at once. <laughs> Awkward oh. encounters on a galactic scale. What's that movie where like the tidal wave comes at the end? <laughs> um, Deep Impact? Yeah. I think. One with diehard dude in it. Ah, uh, Keanu Reeves. I was gonna say Wesley's friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Diehard. Who <laughs> wouldn't be the weirdest Keanu thing Reeves. I said? I did confuse Mel Gibson for Wesley Strokes once. Mel Gibson for Wesley Strokes. <laughs> <laughs> Void 3.0. For those who haven't played in a while, or don't play and just watch my videos, sitting upon the precipice of your seat waiting, gasping for me to dispense the next funny, like, a dystopian vending machine of euphoria. Wait, what are we talking about? Void subclass! Last expansion they added stasis. Ice magic. Stasis was different from Solar, Void, and Ark, as it was designed with a more modern outlook. It had far more customization than just 
Which jump do you like? It came with all these abilities to unlock, and abilities that connect to each other, buffing your character, creating ice shards that froze and then explode and make flying ice turrets, and give your character far more stats than you could get by playing any other subclass. Unless you were playing something specific, like Bubble Guy or Well Dude, Stasis was objectively better in a lot of ways only because it was made with a more modern take on the game's design. But Bungie had the intent to update the older three subclasses, and Void was released with the Witch Queen. Uh, it's kinda okay. I'm permanently invisible, uh, but my Titan has the team overshield, and then the mega overshield, and, and then the overshield again. Yeah, what if I just, I just throw my shield, everybody's exploding! Uh, it's time to play some PvP. <laughs> every, every, every hunter's invisible permanently. <laughs> and warlocks? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't play warlock. Do I look like someone with a brain? <laughs> you on crack? What? I still play a solar titan, unless we need a bubble. Jokes, that's a lie. It's old fashioned, darling. <laughs> But playing Void is way, way more fun than it used to be. For Titan, it feels like the Defender fantasy it's meant to. Same with Hunters. Invisibility isn't just a gimmick they have to dodge a couple of enemies. It's now part of their playstyle. And this chain... <clears throat> and this change is free. Void can be used by free-to-play players, so everyone gets this awesome change even if you don't intend on playing Witch Queen. I'm not really talking about the content of the expansion, but Destiny is a live service game. You're not buying the game as much as you're investing yourself in it. And already with these two changes, Bungie have made mad, mad improvements to the game's health and quality. It's not just about the raid looks cool, or Marisol wrangled my worm in the store. Hey, what? I don't want to rehash a lot of what I covered in my, um, one hour review. My god, it took so long. <laughs> but my main conclusion was Bungie have moments of great success. Some expansions that are truly terrible. But as of that review, during Season of the Lost, the game was really good and the raids available had some of the best content I'd experienced in a long while. And in that moment I could recommend the game, not knowing whether Witch Queen would be another flop in Destiny's life. Then it came out of my time, you wanna punch people who find themselves to death and the world ex- What's that? You played Hunter since Destiny 1 and you got used to rolling to cancel momentum? Maybe just pick the, uh, the options as the time to still do that while supporting your team with the class fantasy uh, still intact. That would be great, thank you. What's that? You want to play with your friends and work together to overcome challenges <laughs> in an MMO? Uh, okay guys, that's cool. You better spend a couple hours beating the story and then you better go grind some easy content to get gear to be able to access that content. Oh wait, no sorry, this is Wish Queen. Just press the button! Going off the campaign and the direction they're taking with class design, I can still recommend this game just off that. And if they keep improving on these two things alone, Destiny 2 has a bright future gameplay-wise. Oh my god, it's like Cora Ray. <laughs> well, she killed me, guys. Kill her. The story, however? Yo, the story, doo doo. The whole story is about beating Savathun, and then we beat her, and we go to the raid, and some dudes there who can apparently end the world. We spent the whole story fighting some flying crack addict, yet down the road with some reality-ending aristocrat. Why are we not? Why are we not fighting him? Why don't we know anything about this guy? Oh well, you, you can uh, actually know a lot about this guy if you watch a. Yeah, six hour lore video on YouTube. Don't pretend you didn't do that. Yeah, yeah, I bet you'll tell me all about him, but you went and watched the video. The game's not gonna show him. I'm mean, too busy killing seven through. Oh wait, no, no, you beat her, but she's uh she's not dead. Hey, um that sounds kinda like that time you uh you beat Aldrin Sov, but oh uh, well, hey, oh he's not really dead. Oh wait, sorry, that sounds like that time you beat Aramis, but oh yeah, she's not really dead. Oh <laughs> three expansions, three 
villains and the same, oh, they might be dead, oh, they might come back, plot twist, three times, almost in a row. Why is no one else mad about this? The whole Destiny community is in love with this rubbish. What, am I, I've got to be missing something, surely. <laughs> it's got to be sick. It's even worse. It, get, it gets worse when you meet Marasov. It... When you meet Marasov in the secret worm room, hey, a Marasov in the secret worm room. Listen, listen, listen. I've said this, I've said this time and time again. I always say this. You guys know I'm always saying this. But Destiny storytelling, mwah, beautiful. Bungie, Bungie on point with this one. They know, they know exactly where they're going. I feel like the ghost says too much. Like he says too much without ever saying anything. He doesn't have time to explain why he doesn't have time yeah. to explain why. You're evil. This is bad. The darkness? Uh oh. I know you guys might be confused, but that was actually me talking, not the ghost in game. <laughs> Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> the new raid, the Vow of the Disciple. You start off with the Overwatch, push the payload, and then the art hits you. Ooh! Ah, ee, ooh! Ah, ooh! <laughs> Forgive me. The encounters are so open. Heaps of space to move around and hordes of goons to shoot. Remember I said I still play solar? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of fun. And then you get to the last boss. Ooh, the, the, the big epic guy that can end the world. Woo! Ooh, look at the, the epic gameplay, baby. Oh my god, he's, oh, the story is so good. Look at the, he can end the world. Look at the epic gameplay, epic gameplay, baby. Last boss is stinky. His damage phase is really cool. Most bosses just hang around while you shoot each other, and you win because you spend thirty uh, dollars on a rock. <laughs> but old mate wanders about and comes after people. He also drops his glaive, which is uh, twice the size of the player. It's a nice touch, very MMO of Destiny to have the final boss drop their weapon. It's not even the exotic as well. Really hope they uh, continue to do that. It's actually really cool. The raid is hella dope. Visually, it's nuts, and how mobility-focused the first three fights are really speaks to me. I absolutely vibed with these, no cap. Not gonna lie, they were straight bussin' my guy. <laughs> I mean, I didn't like this part on day one raiding, when I had to get up at 3am and we were seven hours in, and I had to memorize random symbols while Patty was impersonating Sean Connery. <laughs> Going from such high mobility, chaotic fights to one where there are only three players that need to do something and everyone just stands around waiting. And uh, P.S. In this footage, I am one of the players doing something. That's how bad this bit is. You really feel how much this fight slows down. Cool boss design, cool boss arena, cool boss loot, but why are we just doing nothing? I guess while I'm waiting, I'll play Raid Shadow. <laughs> Yo, imagine? Raids are my favorite part of the game and Val doesn't disappoint. I still have so much fun on the way to the last fight. And farming the weapon drops is worth rerunning it even if I didn't. Yo, the armor though, the armor lay. <clears throat> Who made this? <clears throat> It's so gross. I love you, Luce. I'll allow that term, but I typically don't. What term? Jizz. <laughs> in my chat. Just because, just because it's loose. Be nice. You know the Lonely Island song, Jizz in my face? Yeah, 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 I was thinking about that. And I jizz in my chat. <laughs> <laughs> you guys having jizz enjoyers? Yeah. <laughs> Any jizz enjoyers? Any jizz enjoyers in there? You shouldn't have said anything crazy. Uh, no. I made a joke section in my review of Destiny 2 ranting about how I thought Bungie's art team were kept in a basement, implying the art of the game was so good they must have been forced to work on it 24-7 with photos of their children being sent to them as an incentive to keep them focused. And of course now reviewing Witch Queen- Are you Damn! I've contacted the authority boys. They're tracking down the IP address. We'll get to them, I swear. We'll get. They're in the, the abandoned factory outside of town. We're gonna get them out. Don't you worry, boys. We're, we're gonna get the art team, man. Bungie won't hold them there forever. Earth, kill. Oh, yellow. Give me, give me a yeah. Give me yellow. Give me. Thank you. 
<laughs> One at a I time, boys. On <laughs> My Destiny 2 review ended with me not knowing how to recommend the game with its weird cycle of adding content and removing old content. But I could highly recommend people grab some friends and jump on the free version. Then if they wanted more, pick up an expansion pending it not being removed anytime soon. But scratch that. Play the free version. And if you want more, play Witch Queen. Got him, got him. Witch Queen has improved on the core experience of Destiny and removed the separation of campaign and endgame content that a lot of MMO style games really struggle with. And Bungie did this while the rest of the gaming industry is the worst it's ever been. Early access rubbish, microtransactions, battle pass, NFT go. <laughs> Name five games that came out in the last five years that were released finished and not a buggy mess. Oh wait, um, Elden Ring. Elden Ring on the PlayStation. <laughs> The battle bits play to yo true though as the industry gets worse bungie have improved on a nearly 80 year old formula and that fact as a community and as the consumer we should both acknowledge and appreciate as well as appreciate how smart i just sounded damn brains and beauty i must be the real deal Hey, yo. Now, what if you appreciate that like button? Go, go on, you had a good time, yeah? You know you did. And I had a good time reading the uh, awesome comments from all the amazing, uh, attractive people who commented on my last video. And chatting up the uh, wicked sickos who hang out on my Twitch and have subscribed. Make sure to hit the like button as that is the requirement to enter the Marisov Worm Room. Bye bye, thank you. Oh, what? Uh... There goes the flawless. Girl, she's talking. You can actually get under the under, get under the the <laughs> Pretty Hufflepuff way to do a review. Just saying. Eclipse half truths. Please no. Wow. 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 Yeah. Race rifle reserves. Fuck <laughs> <Like> that. <laughs>